Okay, y'all. This is before I shave. I'm still pretty hairy. But right here, it's a little space. And right here, I mean, it's small, but it cleared up a little bit. But I still have a long ways to go. This is just an up close look. What I have to go through with facial hair. But I get it nowhere else on my face. Like, I don't have a mustache like that. I don't have like thick eyebrows or anything else. It's just right in here. Like my lower, my chin, cheeks area. Okay, this is what it looks like after I shave. To kind of give you an idea so it's not hairy anymore you know I have a few little bumps but it would look like this after I would get electrolysis done so it doesn't phase me the hair grows back um, maybe every three to four days it'll be like what I showed you in a previous clip so I shave really every three to four days. But this is what it looks like. Hey y'all, so I'm back with um, another electrolysis update. Um, it's been about six to eight weeks since I give, give since I gave y'all my last results from electrolysis. And I decided to take a break on that right now. And uh, just focus on the prescription um, spirolactone to kind of help me with my facial hair. Now, um, it's been a slow progression. And I'll have some clips inserted either before this clip or after this clip uh, with close-ups on my progression and what I've, what I've experienced thus far uh, with that process. But um, it's been slow. Like, it's taken forever for my facial hair to either slow down or fully go away and I know a lot of you stated in the previous video in the comments that um the spirolactone is not going to fix it which I understand that and I know it's just a slow progression for the facial hair and as long as I take it once it really starts taking effect on me that it will I'll still have facial hair but it'll be really really light because it'll just go in really extremely extremely slow which I'm fine with that for right now because I do have some underlying issues. If I were to get electrolysis, um, it would not be effective like I, it should be for me. So until I can fix that part of me, it's a waste of money for me to continue to do electrolysis right now. So hopefully in the near future, well, rather sooner than later, I would like to start back doing electrolysis. Um, but until I can do some other stuff, I won't be able to do it for right now. I'm just going to try to get a higher dosage of the spirolactone and go from there and then see if I have better results with that. So and then if I don't have better results with that and if I get some other stuff, you know, under control for me, then I will probably go back to electrolysis. Electrolysis did work as far as keeping the facial hair gone for a longer period of time than um, shaving. Because I use shaving in conjunction with the spirolactone. So um, I'll shave every three to four days versus with the electrolysis, it would be gone for, it would keep the hair away for about three weeks and then I have to shave until my next appointment. But I would usually be, I was consistent in going like almost every three weeks. So they help me out a lot. Um, but uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of any other questions that I may have seen in the comments that you guys were asking about this, but I'll try to keep you guys as updated and as form as possible. Um, hopefully this is helping someone that's in my situation that has excessive facial hair, um, you know, to get help with it. Because I wish I knew more videos. Well, now I'm starting to find a lot of videos about um, facial hair in women, excessive facial hair, especially in black women. And so this helps out a lot. So if you have any more questions, please leave them below. I'll try to get back with you guys. Um, sometimes I'm on YouTube, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes if I get the question, like emailed or it'll text me or something from somebody, 
uh, responded. I'll try my best to respond back. And sometimes I'll respond right back. Sometimes it'll be a month later I respond. But I do try to respond if I know the answer or if I have an opinion about the question. So um, please, if y'all um, have any questions, leave them below. If y'all see other questions that I may not have commented back on, you feel free if you know the answer to comment on. But yeah, I feel like we're a community here and we should help each other out. Um, we're all looking for answers. That's why we're all on YouTube and Googling and all that stuff. So um, hopefully my experience is helping someone else that's in my situation that kind of needs a little bit more um, personal experience with this. And so this is why I'm here. This is why I'm sharing my story. It's not easy. I mean, this is, it's not easy. So, uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. I'll try to give you guys another update after I do my next dosage of the prescription, and then we'll kind of go from there. But until then, about maybe six, eight weeks, y'all have a great day. See you guys later. And thank you guys for watching my uh, channel. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please like, share this video. All right. Bye.